What's up, Van Fam? We love our Storyteller Overland, but there's one problem we have with it when we're driving down the highway. It can be kind of hard to see out the back of the van at whoever's right behind you. Now, we do have a mirror, but if you have some stuff on your bed or your bed's down or if you have covers back there, you're not going to be able to see out the back at all. And while there are 360 degree cameras on this van, they're not on all the time. You actually can't turn them on when you're driving at highway speeds. Now, some people will go ahead and install a rear view camera that's on all the time, but we don't want to go through that entire process. We just wish there was a simple hack that could allow us to use the built in cameras whenever we want. Well, now there is. Now, before we get to the hack, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel for more questionable van life content. Now, this was sent to us by Mid City Engineering, so thank you guys for letting us check this out, and we'll have a link to them down below. But let's first find out what exactly this is. Let's rip it open. And here we go. The On Demand Programmer by Mid City Engineering. Let's take a look at what it looks like wrapped up nice and safely for the travel. And this is it. Let's plug it in. And before we plug this in, let me show you how the camera system on the Spinner Van, the Storyteller Overland normally works. So if we come over here and press this button right here, or we kick it into reverse, the cameras turn on. So this is 360, this is showing out the front right now. This shows out the back. This is another angle out the back. And it'd be really cool if we could have this rear view camera on whenever we wanted to, so that as we're going down the highway, we could see who's behind us. The problem is that once I start driving the van, these cameras will stay on, but as soon as we start to pick up some speed, they automatically turn off and won't turn back on until you slow back down. And that's the problem with it, which is what this will help us hack. All right, now we are going to actually program the van using the Mid-City On Demand Programmer. So there are instructions on how to do this on the Mid-City website, which will have the link directly to the instructions linked up down below, but it looks very easy to do. I think even I can do this. So first thing it says to do is to turn the van on and then just turn the van right back off. Now we're going to plug this into the OBD port which is under here. And next up on the instructions is to turn the engine back on. Now at this point, they say there should be a little light that's on, on the programmer. You probably are not gonna be able to see this because of the angle, but I can see that's on right now. And you're just going to wait now for the light to turn off and that means that it's done. So let's wait a minute for that to work. All right, so the light turned off is actually really fast and the website does note that the, the programming can happen really fast. So you might go down there to look and not even see the light on. That means there's a chance that it already worked. Once the light's off, now all you have to do is turn the ignition off, take out the OBD programmer, and now it should work. And this, by the way, you don't have to keep it plugged in but it only works with one van. It connects with that one van, and so you can't use this on multiple vans. So let's now go on the highway and try it out. All right, so we are on the highway going about 60 miles per hour, so the cameras on the stock Sprinter van shouldn't work right now if I press that button, but we just programmed it. Fingers crossed this works. I'd be really excited if it does. Oh, there it goes. That is awesome. This is what I've always wanted because these cameras are awesome. We can see 360 around, we can see to the front, we can see to the back, but they never worked at highway speeds and now it looks like they're working. Let me try the other ones. Yeah, look at that. That is awesome. I'm very excited by this. And I think looking through these different views, I think I like this one the best because I can see behind me as well as around me. It really helps with those blind spots that you get with the van. So I think this is the view I'm going to use. Now, disclaimer here, I, I'm not gonna like rely on this right. I'm always gonna check my mirrors and these cameras, they're only gonna show what, what they could show, right? So it's not gonna, sh 
point straight back like some rear view cameras, but for what it is, I mean, it's showing what's behind us, it's showing what's around us. I feel like this is gonna make the drive a lot safer, especially when trying to like merge or just be able to see behind me if something's blocking me. So I'm super excited for this. I'm really happy that MidCity figured out how to fix this or, or how to hack this, so to speak. Um, I don't know how they did it, but it's pretty dang cool. So thank you, MidCity Engineering, for figuring this out. That was really cool. So we've been driving now for about a half hour trying this out and I absolutely love this thing because as you saw that car go by, there was one point where I could not see that car in the mirror. Yes, there's a blind spot detection light that comes on, but it's also awesome being able to look here and see, yeah, there is a car there in my blind spot. So this is really cool. I think this is gonna make driving a lot safer. We can turn this on and just as we merge and just keep an eye better on the road. So. I'm really happy with this product. This is exactly what I wanted and I'm really happy that they, they made it happen. So if you guys enjoyed this, you wanna buy one for yourself, we will have it linked up down below directly to the MidCity Engineering website to this product. They have a bunch of other products as well. One of their most popular ones allows you to put something into the van if you have something like a storyteller that will ch charge the van when you're parked. So it kicks in the high idle. That comes standard on like the beast mode storyteller, but this allows you to put it into the, the lower models as well. And they have a bunch of other cool things on the website that you should check out. And if you guys enjoyed this video, you know what to do. Gently tap that like button down below and then subscribe to the channel for more questionable van life content. Thanks so much for checking out the video guys. See you next time.